what democracy looks like. Occupy Richmond protesters' plans to take over Monroe Park fail when they're met with a heavy police presence. Now demonstrators are on the move again, trying to find somewhere to set up shop. Thanks for joining us. I'm Cheryl Miller. Well into the night, occupiers tried to set up a camp at a few different areas downtown, but were met by officers at every turn. Two of the demonstrators were arrested, prompting yet another move this morning. Our Shelby Brown joins us now live with an update. Shelby? Well, Cheryl, those protesters now have their sights set on City Hall, and they tell us that at some point today they plan to come here to demonstrate. They are vowing to continue to push their message. Now, this comes after a very long, long night of floating all around the city, but they say they are already strategizing their next move. You may have spotted them walking in the middle of Broad Street holding signs or gathering near Monroe Park. I love you guys. Hundreds of Occupy protesters and supporters rallied around the city overnight. Despite being shut down at every turn, they started in Monroe Park but were met by a heavy police presence who closed the park. We are protected by the First Amendment. Protesters gave their account of what happened next. It was a peaceful demonstration. People were just marching and then the police enacted violence. They pulled people out of the crowd, they threw a bike at the crowd, they slammed people into cars, they arrested two people with very spurious charges. It's disconcerting, I guess, frustrating, because we have a right to be here, and you know, they're just trying to be intimidating. It's time to march! The group moved from place to place all night. They were kicked out of Kanawa Plaza, the place that they camped out before. They were kicked out of a courtyard near the Coliseum and ultimately landed at the Canal Walk. At one point during the night, two men were arrested. Shame on you! Shame on you! Thursday morning, both were arraigned on felony and misdemeanor charges from wearing a mask in public to resisting arrest and disorderly conduct. In court, a few dozen occupiers show up to rally to support their friends and they say to keep their message alive. The message would be A, that our friends are not forgotten, that um, our friends in the city jail are important to us and we're not going to sit quietly at home comfortably while they're locked in the Richmond city jail. Now, protesters tell us they plan to gather tonight for a demonstration outside of the Richmond City Jail at 8 p.m. They say they will set up shop there every night until their two friends who were arrested are released from jail. In the meantime, we did contact the Richmond Police Department for a comment. They declined to comment, but they did refer us to the Commonwealth's Attorney's Office. Our Sandra Jones will pick up the story from there. She will have much more on this tonight at 5 and 6. For now, reporting live in downtown Richmond, Shelby Brown, CBS 6 News.